so okay students uh, good evening uh, i'm jc rahul i'm a python pro stack web development trainer having four years of experience and i have been associated with the mjit from the past two years so i have taken many batches to train the students wants to start their career in uh, as a python developer so recently have seen many of the companies are recruiting uh, i mean uh, a big pack Wipro has released that uh, and they are looking for 40,000 jobs. So, and there is a good demand for the Python web developer in the market. So, without uh, delay, I will start the section. So, first of all, uh, I will execute the website and ex I will explain everything. So, I hope you are all ready for that. So, if you have any questions you can just unmute and uh, you can ask okay hello yeah yeah okay yeah, yeah. so first of all uh, so please uh, keep your mic on uh, so that uh, you can understand and you can ask the doubt at any point of time. So what I will do, I will just run my server locally server, which is being created by the Python. So it will take a few seconds. Yeah. So the server has been started locally. Just a moment. Yeah. So now uh, if I enter the URL address. So you can see the website. Which is loading. Loading. Uh, I just started. Can you see the website? You can now switch on your mic. Hello, Manikesh and uh, Basim Akram and Pinky. Can you see the uh, yes, website? Yes, we are able to see this. So uh, what are the yes, things sir. you can see on the website? The thumbnail of the film page, uh, film stuff. Yeah. With so, address, yeah. This is actually a movie bus. That means what are the upcoming movies in this year and also and the coming year like 2022 and 23. These are the movies. So I have created a sample uh, website so that you could understand how to create a website and how a website looks like. So first of all, you can see Triple uh, R, which is going to release on 13th October 2021 and directed by the Rajmoli. And next one is a Samshara. Uh, which is also directed by the Karan Malhotra and releasing this month and next one is Salar and also Valimai and Annata Talaiva Talaivi sorry and also Avatar 2 Radesham and Pushpa so uh, so I will show you how the data is being entered in the background and then we'll move on how to create a website in the Django is that fine yeah okay yeah okay just look at the screen so that uh, you could understand every each and everything so first of all i will enter into the admin site so that i could enter any uh, movie and also the details can you please tell me the rest of the movies which are going to come uh, 
in this year three movies you cannot vikram kamala hasan movie yeah, okay uh, tell me what is that movie name vikram v i k r a m vikram not that one you just type vikram kamal movie okay vikram okay fine so what is that uh, yeah yeah this is the one okay this is upcoming yeah. movie in this year yeah. yeah okay so first of all what we'll do we will download the movie poster so uh, we'll download this uh, movie poster Save the image as and uh, save the database. Then only we can upload into the website. Yeah, uh, I will save it as Vikram itself. And then any other movie upcoming, uh, I would take uh, Narappa. Is a Tollywood movie. So it's also an upcoming movie. Uh, I would take uh, this poster. Uh, yeah, it looks fine. So I will download and save image as uh, Narappa itself. Yeah, and add it. I will take this one. I will simply download it so that I could upload in our website. And yeah, save. So now what we will do? We will add a each and every movie one by one so that we could see that movie. So first of all, uh, we would add Adi Purish. Okay, and the name is also the same. Adi. Adi Purish. The cast is Prabhat. Yeah. I don't know about the director. Uh, so, so someone is waiting. Just a second. Uh, okay, so uh, I don't know about the director, so uh, I will give uh, SS Rajamouli itself. Li Rajamouli, and it would be released around uh, in the year 2020. So I would give AP. So if I click on save and another it would be saved into a database so later on we can view this so i have added the adhikurish and then i will add the uh, uh, vikram movie that is yeah here vikram and uh, it's Rajnikan, are you? Rajnikan, Kamal, and director. Just a moment. Uh, yeah, who is the director? Director, okay, Lokesh Tanakaraj. And add Lokesh uh, Tanakaraj. And then we'll add any release date like 
and then move we'll move on to add the last movie Yeah, not up. Not up. And the cast would be. R E Y. Sreya. The director is. Uh, and release date would be in this month itself so i would give the date uh, 25 j u n e june 2021 i will save yeah we added the movies uh, so at the bottom these were the movies added previously so now if i click on refresh yeah you can see the latest movies which we have added just now that is uh, yeah the left one is adi purush and uh, second one is vikram and third one is narappa hello yes rahul uh, you can able to see this so so now you have understood how the movies are added to our website in the back end so that any uh, i mean uh, fans or viewers who wants to view what are the upcoming movies and what is the what are the i mean uh, the director and the release date and also the cast uh, i mean uh, the actors who are acting the movie so in this way it is a simple and easy way to create an upcoming movie so i have given the movie as movie buzz so the website name is movie buzz so just tell me how does it look like I mean, I'm expecting answer from all of you. Hello. So, if you have no doubt, then uh, we will move on to the next step. Hello. hello so okay i hope uh, we are clear up to here so uh, so just uh, download this file okay i will uh, keep so just please click on this download this link so that uh, you don't have to type every each and every line yeah so just uh type sir this. please share the link on chat box okay fine uh, i will just uh, paste this link in the chat box yeah you just click on this and i will explain the next step how to download this and how to use that file if you have downloaded just uh, i mean if you have opened this site just tell me and i will explain
so have you opened this website so you are open okay yeah, can i ask it now yeah you can you can sir how can i link collab code and django when i write a code in collab and how can i link collab code and django okay you are using the google collaboratory yes sir so google collaboratory is uh, mainly used for the what we'll call you can run python and also you can go for the machine learning artificial intelligence also deep learning but uh, most of the people would go for the code editor that is lime vs code or anything so that they could open each and every file in this in this manner so see here if you want they open admin file forms or views file they can open side by side so i hope uh, the google collab won't have this feature so it is only used for the coding purpose okay sir okay fine If you have entered this website, just do one thing. Click on the code and just download the zip in this manner. So that you don't have to type each and every line. You just watch the code which I'm typing and then you'll be understand. Okay, so without wasting time, uh, I will start the website. I will uh, build the website. First of all, these are the few commands. So uh, I think some of the new journals has been joined. So see, uh, this is the movie website, a sample movie website and which shows the upcoming movies coming this year and also coming the later year that is 2022 so movies are uh, triple r simshara cellar and all that so once again for the new students just give me uh, one minute i will explain how to upload the poster and all that from the background and then i will start executing the code so i will add one poster so that you could understand sorry i have stopped the because i have stopped the server so i couldn't so now here in the background of any website it's being added in this way so for the newcomers i mean the new join ones i will just upload this one and we'll move on to the next slide i mean sorry uh, we'll move on to the next topic i would add shimshera So if you see at the bottom, there are only Adi Purush and Vikram and Narappa. So these are the website which was already created. So for the new students, I'm adding one how to create a website. So have Shimshera and Shimshera last would be. So, okay, and the director would be uh, Vinod, I think. 
be note and this date would be uh, I would give any other So in this way, we should add a movie poster and we should give the movie name and also the cast, I mean the hero, heroines or everything and also the director and the movie release date. If I click on save, yeah, if I click on save, there were no Adipurish at the bottom. Now, if I refresh this website, you can see movie has been added. That is Shimshara. Just now, I have added. So any doubt in this or uh, for uploading a poster and or uh, adding a dip description in the website, you can ask me now. Anybody, if you have any doubt in this section, you can ask or else I will move on to next step. Oh, we can move next up. Okay, so you have seen each and every line. Uh, how I have, I mean, uh, how we have added the movies here. So I will start creating a website, and then again we will add the same movies for an idea. Okay, we will add three and then three and then three so that you will get an idea how the website has been designed so i will stop the server and then so there are few commands to create a django uh, app and django projects so that is django hyphen admin start Start project. So I would give the same name. Movie. And I would give that movie. The project name is movie. So it take few seconds to create a project. Yeah, it had, it had created the project for us. We'll uh, move into that folder. And then uh, the second command is to create an app. Manage. Start app. So I would give the same name. That is Bus. We Bus. Uh, creating the app. Yeah, now the finally the app and project has been created. So I would open this in the command. Sorry, in the VS Code. Yeah, it would take few seconds to open the VS Code. Till that, uh, in the server. So, yeah. Yeah, you can see here. These are the two folders created by the Django for us. So we don't have to create anything from scratch. So everything, each and everything will be provided by the Django. We, we have to do only three things. We have to create a model. That is where our data is being stored. And we have to create a view where we are going to write the business logic. Like if you want to uh, write your Python. Uh, I mean, uh, 
functions classes and if you want to write the conditions it means like if else and elif and if you want go for the looping like the while loop and the for loop we are going to write all of these things in the views.py and also the templates where we are going to build our home page so the three files are models.py this is the first file i have discussed so this model.py file contains nothing so i would just simply create a model so that you could store our movie poster movie name director name and the release date in our database so this models will help us to maintain our data okay so a class uh, and then the first one would be the movie poster as usually so b o s m o if you have downloaded the github repository just open this movies.py file so that you could see each and everything from here or else uh, it's if it's not downloading just click on here movies and click on each and every file like if i'm coding on models.py just click on here yeah uh, it's loading yeah so in this way you can see what i'm coding so i will move on to the coding part yeah. sorry uh, yeah this so image field image field could store our document so here i want to save my image one is the name of the movie so it would be a character field character field and you so more than 25 let so 25 characters there is no movie in the in industry and then i would give the cast cast to full stop so the cast would be the same. Uh, max length. So there would be actors. So I would give 50 characters. You can give up to 100, 200 also. There is no limit for that. And then I would give director. Director. would give give release max length of so that's it we have created our model in a seven line we have created our model so that it could store our data and it could maintain our data so
so i will explain these two lines when i have entered in the admin file so that it would be easy for you to understand so these are the fields i have created i have created a class model start model so that i could create a model and first one is the poster movie poster that is models dot image field the second one is the name name of the movie models dot character field of length 25 and then cast i mean hero heroine and the act, other actors so for that also i'm using models dot character field of length 50 and then third one sorry fourth one is director so i'm giving models dot character field of max length 25 and then the last one is release so every movie has a release date so for that i'm using models dot character field of max length 25 so now i have completely done with the models dot py so here we don't have to do anything now we have to do just one thing that is register our model so that we could see in the admin panel so for that only one line dot models that's it we have done here and then I have said already we have to do only coding in the three parts first one is the models second one is the views part yeah now we have to create a view so that we could see the movie posters and description of the movie So here I would create a four line code that could give our website. So that is So I will explain the four lines. So we are creating a function in the Python. The name of the function is for, and we are using a request method get so that we should get all the details like the movie poster, director name, the cast, and the release date from the database. So what is the database? Name models. Sorry, from the models we are importing movie. In the movie, all the details will be contained like our poster name cast director and release date and then i'm just returning into the template and i'm inserting all this into this home.html so uh, i think i'm clear up to now 
so we'll move on to the next two steps in in the two steps we will complete creating our website so first of all we have to go to the euros.py we have to import our uh, import it was yahoo and then we have to create a path i uh, so i will explain what is this url pattern you have you hope you have seen facebook.com uh, and also amazon.com and also gmail so everything every url will be generated here itself every url will be generated here itself so i would say have imported the views and then we have to put four lines just look at the screen and i will explain after coding here in the project we are registering our app and i will tell you something you can create only one project like your amazon or your flipkart that comes under the project example but you can create a number of apps so here the app name is buzz and in the amazon you can see the app names like your mobile phones so in that mobile phones you click on that it would generate many pages like for your xiaomi nokia Nokia phones list of the Nokia phones there will be one page and also for your Apple phones so there will be one page and if you go on to for the electronics it is an app so there is there will be only one project and n number of apps So at the uh, at the last line, we should add a URL path so that our images could be saved, our movie posters could be saved. So for that, we should add one line media. join this d i 
why i am writing sorry writing this code means here base directory so it is a directory where our images would be saved so now uh, click on save yeah that's it and then we'll move on to the urls to py and then we can run the website so first of all in the urls to py we have to add four lines Django config import settings Django dot config URL dot static. import static so i will explain why i am writing these four lines of this code settings debug and then URL pattern plus equals static settings dot media underscore document group settings media so now yeah i have completed the coding so why i have added this line means if you add any photo in your uh, you can if you know the c and c plus plus we'll be using if you want to increment by one number you'll be writing i plus plus or in the python you will be writing plus equals to so that means if you added any photo it would be added into that directory again if you add another photo it would add into the same media URL directory so that's why i'm using this now we'll move on to the main main course that is the website so first of all i have to do few things something is there shows in the url sorry i have to write from bus dot views yeah you can see we have created our model 
and then we have to do the migrations migrate that's it it would migrate all the details like your poster poster name and cast and director it would create a table inside the admin panel i would show how the admin panel would look like so this it would be given only to the ceo or higher officials in the company so we have to give dummy details because this is not a real project yeah we have created for super user we have got our site so we'll do one thing we'll just enter the address but it shows template does not exist so that means we have in created home.html so in a minute i would show that uh, i would show the admin panel so this is the admin panel which is given to the topmost official so that each and every user has no access to this so that means if you can if you want to delete anything you can delete so if we give this uh, address and also username and password to that unknown person he would delete all the things unnecessarily so you have to give this admin panel login and id only to the one person and he should be ceo or cmd or cfo So I will enter the details which I have created earlier. So now you can see here a database has been created. So till now, any doubts you can ask me. Hello. Hello. So till now, if you have any doubts, you can ask me. So you have seen, I have done only few lines of code. Here you can see only it is hardly eight lines of code. And in the admin file, admin file, we have to register that it's not a code. And here we have written only four lines of code. And here we have added only five lines. So it is not coding. We are adding the files. That's it. And also we are registering our media file so i would just want to do one thing it would take a lot of time to where is that here is the file so i have created a template previously when i have entered it shows it has shown a template error so for that reason i would create template would be home.html yeah so now they have created some template so it won't show error i have i hope yeah 
what is that homework html yeah i have done homework html itself I have added added the template so it would ask again to migrate. So now our template has been loaded. So uh, can you see here? I mean, uh, hello. You can now turn on your mics. Hello. 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 Yes, sir. So, okay. So previously, this was our website which I have created. Okay. This was our website. So now, if you see here, now we will add movies into the website. Okay. So just tell me the movie name. I would add one by one. So first of all, I would add Salar here. I'm adding Salar into the database from here. So the move and the cast is The director is Prashant Neem. Prashant Neem. The release date would be I would choose what number April I would and I would save. Yeah, see here. I have saved the movie name. So can you see here Salar? I have said earlier that. I would explain this thing. So if I remove this, it would show object dot one, object dot two. If I write define string str stand for string, and it's a constructor. So it would return name of the movie. So it would return name of the movie. So that's why I'm giving return self dot name. So here it would return salar. And we will see how the salar has been entered into the website. See here. Hello, Nivedita. Sorry, Nivedya. Yes, sir. So I hope you have seen 
I have taken only I think I have taken 10 or 12 minutes of time that's it to create a website yeah is that right yes sir so now tell me the movie uh, names of your choice then I would add here uh, so just tell me a movie here I will show the poster and I will add so that you could understand how it's being added. Sir, let me search some movies. Sorry? Sir, let me search some movies. Okay, you want to search the movie? Yeah, you can tell me here. I would, I will search here. And I will directly add. Yeah, you can tell me and I will add into, into the database. So that you're saying that you want to add your own movie. Just tell me the movie name I will add. Okay, sir. Okay, tell me the movie name. I will just download the poster and I will add. Any movie recently released also, any movie you can say, there is no particular reason that you have to say the upcoming movie itself. Just tell me a movie name, that's it. Uh, sir. Okay. Venom. Venom, okay. V E N O M. Venom, you are telling me, okay, Venom. Yeah. So, okay. So, first of all, we have to download the poster of the movie. Okay, should I select this image? Yes, sir. I say like. Yeah, okay, fine then. So, yeah, it looks beautiful. The animation and graphics look so realistic. So, I will download this poster. And then I would add. It will be downloaded in a few seconds. Yeah. Also, we require the details. So just look at the screen how I will add your own movie name. Yeah, I have entered the movie poster, movie name. I uh, will enter it in the capital. And Venom. And this I have entered the cast, director, and the release date. Just I'm quickly save. That's it. You can see here the first movie was Salar and second movie was Venom. And if I click on uh, refresh, you can see here. Yes. Hello. Hello, Nimvedia. Hello. Yes, sir. So have you seen? Yes, sir. I have added movie. So yes, sir. So till now, if I have any doubt or any questions, you can ask me. No, sir. I don't have any doubt. Okay. So I hope we have understood each and everything. So we have to yes, do sir, I understand. MVT, that is we have to write our model and then we have to add a few lines of code like your business logic in the views and then we have to create a template. That's it. 
three things are important to create a website in Django and the rest of the things which are provided by the Django. Yes, sir. I got. Yeah. So mm -hmm. anyone else in the group, you can ask me any questions on any queries, any doubts. So that I could explain. Your uh, I could clarify your doubts. Yeah, you can ask me any any doubts like uh, how what is Python and how to learn Python and how many days it would take. And you can ask me only we can create a website for a movies or you can create any website like your uh, Amazon, Flipkart, eBay. Yeah, you can create any kind of website or even you can create a YouTube also. You, you know, YouTube has been created by the Django and also you can create a chat applications like Instagram and in Instagram also created by the Django framework itself. Sorry, someone has messaged. This woman. Sir, any feedback link for this section? Yeah, you can just uh, ping a message to uh, our team. They would help you with all the details for the section and also each and everything. If you don't have mic, you can just type here or else you can directly ask your uh, questions. So can I ask it out? You can ask any number of those. Yeah, okay, so actually I told you, uh, when I do a machine learning um, project, how can I uh, link this one, this design go to that? project so first of all you have to do one thing when you have already created okay when you have already created a project an app then the first thing is that you have to create mvt and all that i have shown uh, uh, just few minutes before and then if you want to add any uh, machine learning code what we have to do is that you have to import the modules okay Hello. Modules. Yeah, import the modules. Okay, sir. Uh, you can take simple module as pandas. Okay. Mo the diff there is no okay, difference sir. between the module and the library. The Python has a huge library like the pandas, scikit learning, and also uh, for graphical, uh, you, you can take n number of libraries. And also, you have uh, an algorithm like a uh, KNN algorithm, elbow method and you have to calculate if you want to calculate the p ratio yeah you can go for that and also you can do anything everything in the django there is no restriction but we need okay. to have the particular libraries so if you take the course we will explain how to add and also how to create your own libraries on modules also in the django section okay sir Okay, and any more questions? No, sir. Yeah. So if you have any questions, you can uh, just turn on your mic and you can ask or else you can just, uh, if you don't have the mic, you can uh, put your question in the chat box.
yeah still now also if you have any doubt you can ask me so okay so there is a feedback form in the chat if you see so fill all the details in that form so it will be your name and you have previously done your course and what are the course you are building. Please enter the details immediately after the section without any due. Yeah, okay. So I hope uh, there are no doubts from the students. I have and uh, So thank you, thank you all for joining. I would uh, queue to uh, Hiran and he will explain the rest. Hello. So what are the upcoming events? Yeah, so uh, there are many events like uh, Python and Django and also you can have uh, for the Python if you want to learn Python and also if you want to learn the Django and the other framework like the Flask you can learn and also we have AWS and also there is a PyT, python it automation there are a lot of courses and a lot of events and upcoming events would be uh, if you enter our website you can see what are the events and when the events would be and what is the time of the event so we will get all the details from the website or also or you can just uh, contact our uh, mgit team so that you would get each and every detail of that yeah, am I clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. So there are a lot of ways you can use the Django. You can use for machine learning you can use for artificial intelligence so if you see uh, the instagram there are like uh, what we'll call in the reels you can have attached something on your face like your uh, you can change the filters you can apply color so that comes under the machine learning and it will identify that and you can go for the ai artificial intelligence you can go for the you can create a youtube channel also with the django
so thank you students thank you for your time and i hope you have enjoyed so please fill the form without any due and we are waiting uh, for your uh, for the form and thank you i hope you have enjoyed and have a great day thank you so much